The exclusive computer music edition of New Sonic Art's powerful plug-in chainer and host, Freestyle CM boasts all the features of the full version and is restricted only in that it works exclusively with our CM plug-in suite of instruments and effects, as included with every issue of the digital and print magazine. Freestyle CM instantiates standalone or as a VST or audio units plugin, ready to load up any number of VST format CM plugins for configuring, playing and processing within its own versatile framework and intuitive workflow. In these two videos, we'll take you on an in-depth tour of this amazing music production and performance tool, from installation and setup to instrument stacking, effects processing, assigning macros and more. Freestyle CM comes in standalone and plug-in versions for use within a door or as an independent plug-in host. Two plugins are installed, Freestyle CM and Freestyle FX CM. The first loading is an instrument, the second is an effect for use on audio tracks. To install them all, double-click the installer for your platform, Mac or PC, and follow the instructions. Upon first launch, you'll be asked whether you want to run Freestyle CM without authorization or register an account with New Sonic Arts to authorize it and do away with the NAG screen. Naturally, we advise the latter. Clicking the bottom option reveals buttons for demoing, buying and activating the full Freestyle, which of course adds compatibility with your non-CM plugins. With your startup method decided, the next thing to do is click the Select VST Folder button to add your installed CM plugins to the Freestyle CM database. The scanning process actually works through all your VST plugins, not just the CM ones, and thus might take a while if you've got lots of them. Doing this for the standalone version also covers the instrument plugin, but the FX plugin has to be set up separately. As you'll immediately notice, all your CM plugins appear in the browser on the left, which houses instruments and effects on two separate pages. Plugins are grouped by manufacturer and represented by thumbnail images of their GUIs. Groups are collapsed by clicking the manufacturer name, a filtered favourites list is populated by clicking a plugin star icon, and the whole browser is hidden and revealed with a click of the magnifying glass button top left. Here then we have Freestyle CM loaded as an instrument on a track with a MIDI bassline playing. Let's make a triple layered bass sound. We start by dragging Dune CM in from the browser. The synth appears in the main rack section. Clicking the thumbnail opens its interface, enabling us to load and tweak a bass preset. So far, so unremarkable. Next, we drag in Enkel CM and set it up to provide a fizzy second layer over the Dune CM patch. To get an overview of our rack, we click the bottom left button to switch to Structure View. We'd like the ankle part to only play on the very bottom note of the bass line, which is easily sorted using the key split module at the top. Clicking the key split module opens it. Alternatively, option click it to zoom the thumbnail and make it live for editing in place. The key range of each synth is set by dragging the range handles and layers are muted by clicking the dots next to their names. We pull the top of Enkel CM's range back so that it cuts off at the bottom C. Then follow this up with a third synth, Bazille CM, zoned to only trigger at D3 and higher. We 
We now have a pretty wild baseline, although the Bazille CM layer needs turning down, which is done in Freestyle CM's basic mixer. We can surely make more of that ankle CM layer too through the application of effects. Clicking the effects tab in the browser switches to our installed CM effects plugins and dragging PSP CM delay directly onto the cable connecting ankle CM to the mixer inserts the plugin into that synth signal path. Of particular interest to live performers, Freestyle CM features a handy macro system for assigning multiple controls from the instruments and effects in a rack to individual shared knobs. Here's an arpeggiated synth lead comprising stacked Curve 2 CM and Zills 3 plugins routed through PSP CM delay again. We're going to assign the filters of both synths and the delay's wet level to a single macro. Click the macro icon to reveal the macro controls. Click the L button to enter learn mode. Then click the plugin control that you want to assign to the macro. Done. To assign further parameters to the same macro, click the three faders button. The destination editor opens. Click add destination under the macro and follow the menus to your parameter of choice. We want the two filters to move in opposite directions for a sort of frequency crossfade. Clicking the dual arrow buttons for the two Zills 3 cutoff knobs reverses the assignment so that they turn clockwise as the Curve 2 CM cutoff knob turns anti-clockwise and vice versa. The modulation range of each macro assignment can be narrowed using the sliders in the destination editor too. The macro coverage of PSP Delay CM's wet knob is far too expansive, so we rein it in by shifting both ends of its range. Right-clicking anywhere in the rack or structure views brings up a menu of utilities for insertion into the signal flow as you see fit, including a band splitter, a MIDI input monitor, Velocity and MIDI CC Response Curve Editor, a waveform scope, and more. Again, click to open their modal windows. Option click to zoom and edit in place. CM plugins can also be added via the right click menu rather than dragging and dropping if you prefer.
The FX version of the Freestyle CM plugin works just like the instrument version, but is used on audio tracks. The standalone version is aimed at live performers who don't want the hassle of running a door on stage and includes a full screen mode for maximizing display usage, plus the new event player for sketching out simple melodic ideas. We'll take a closer look at that in the next video. Freestyle CM setups are saved in two ways. The Performer Orientated Snapshots function captures the complete state of the environment within the plugin or standalone application itself, for instant switching between virtual rigs via mouse clicks or MIDI program change messages. The regular save menu entry, meanwhile, saves the entire Freestyle CM caboodle, including snapshots, as a discrete file like any other plugin preset. Being totally unlimited in terms of functionality, Freestyle CM really does show you everything the full version of Freestyle has to offer, so if you like what you see and hear, and fancy getting the rest of your plugin collection in on the action, head over to the New Sonic Arts website, www.newsonicarts.com, where you can upgrade for €129. Euros.